On today's episode of Homebrew, we're going over three games that you guys made. First one comes in from a user on Twitter named Kurayu, and it's called Gravity Wars HD. So we're going to just go ahead and check that out. Okay, so this looks like maybe a uh, Geometry Wars kind of like dual stick shooters. So it's left stick, right stick. I'm gonna shoot all this stuff. The amount of like stuff happening on screen is kind of amazing in this game. And it does offer quite a bit of challenge to make sure you're avoiding everything that you possibly can here. Oh boy, uh. And you can hold down the trigger, it looks like they got it so that you can make more of a intense spread on your weapon. Um, so like, e hold on, I'll show you. So it's like normal, and then see how the spread, it's much qu oh, quicker. It's like almost kind of addicting to play, much like the, you know, the Super Stardust games. I don't know, I like twin stick shooters. I don't know if you guys do, but um, this looks like a pretty good recreation of one. I don't know how I quit. Ooh. Oh, exit. Cool, he has an exit straight built into the game. That's actually really good. Like, uh, devs, pay attention to that, because being able to exit right from your your menu is, is a good idea. Other, because otherwise you have to push the minus button and then go to end. So that's really cool. Now let's check out the game code here. As you can see, it's fairly complicated. We're going to try to get into maybe understanding some of this at some point as I build my own skill with the game. But again, this is one of those things that you can dig in yourself and see kind of how the creators are doing things. Okay. The next game here is called Wire Action. It comes to us from programmer Flatict. This game is pretty, uh, pretty cool. All right, so let's check it out here. All right, so you aim your arm with the left stick, fire a web with Y, and then you can reel in as long as you're holding the A, the B button. If you let go, you're gonna reel, you're gonna let the line out. And your goal is to get up to the top. Let's see if we can do that. It actually feels, it feels really good. <laughs> um, it takes a little bit of getting used to. Uh, you cannot move your character, ooh. You cannot move your character at all, so if you get on the ground here, uh, you're just rotating your arm. <laughs> but why would you need to move your character when you can swing on a wire? Of course, definitely a wire, not anything else. So let's get hardcore about this. So sometimes you want to like let out and then let your swinging do to get enough momentum to launch up. Oh, I barely caught that. Oh uh, boy. Kind of feel like, uh... I mean, this would be a good grappling hook mechanic in, like, your own game. If you could go dig through the code and figure out how he did the grappling mechanic.
Uh, what did I hook on to? Oh no! Oh, maybe I just need to go up. I do, okay. Well, there we go. There he is! The monkey! Oh, I can't... Yes. 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 Yeah! All right, we got it. Sweet. All right, thanks, Flatic, for that entry. That's, that's good. I like that one. All right, so for our last game for today, we're gonna do a game called Catch and Sort. Comes with to us from users Arms Tip, Arms Tips. They've given the programmer ID here as well because there is a hard, medium, and easy mode. So we are going to try the medium mode here. See how we can do here. Now this game is going to use the pointer on your controller and you're going to catch objects and move them into the bin. Um, I'll show you the difference between hard and medium as soon as I get some of these in here. Or easy and medium. Okay, put them in there. See, I have a time limit to do it. I have noticed that the boxes like hit each other, so you could, you know, grab a box and have it knock more in. It actually works really well. The the movement with the controller and getting the making a catch, it's pretty intuitive. If you have two Joy-Cons, I'm using a Pro Controller, but if you have two Joy-Cons, it says that you should be able to, to point both of them at the screen. So I don't know if you can catch two different objects at once. Uh, it'd be an interested, exp interesting experience for you guys to try out, for sure. Um, so we're gonna hop over to, you can find all three with that creator code, but we can, we're gonna hop over to the easy. So notice how there's nothing over here on the side by these boxes. Um, and then on easy, he has it, the creator has it so there's ramps. That, so you can just kind of toss things over there and then they have a better shot of coming in. What's cool to note is that the creator has made it so that the objects don't affect each other until you touch it. So for example, see, uh, until, They don't become visible or so well solid until you touch it. It seems, and the, the, the they're on different planes, so the squares and the spheres can't affect each other. find it easier to grab the blue ones. All right, 27 points, great. So there you have it. Let me know what you guys think of the games and if you have a game to share, also let me know in the comments, share your code. And if you play these guys' games, if you check them out, make sure to leave them a like on their thing to give them some feedback. All right, see you next time. Gaming ADD. Like and subscribe.